<laughs> oh guys, if you've like seen my videos before, you, uh, when I start my videos in the garage, you'll know there's usually something right here. And there's two bikes right there, and you can hear something running out there. One of my mom's friends was keeping her bike here for a while, and now she has a place to keep it. She asked me if I would ride it over, because she doesn't really like riding, she's actually looking to sell it. I don't even know what the fuck this is. It's, it's a vintage fucking bike. It's a 250, has just under 50,000 miles on it. All right, guys, uh, this is weird as fuck. Oh my God, what the hell? What the fuck is up with these handlebars? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is up with this? <laughs> this bike feels so weird. Oh my God. I feel like this bike is way too small for me. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Like the throttle response is weird. Like, I guess that I'm used to a ladder bike. I'm used to like hearing all my throttles and shit. And the handlebars just make it that much weirder that they're like, I don't know, they're like, they're so different. They're like more back. I'm used to like having my hand hands out. Oh yeah, we're gonna hit it. <laughs> like when I imagine riding on a cruiser, I imagine like being like sitting there real comfortable and shit. And this isn't even that comfortable. I feel really cramped. The reason she's selling is, is she says she belongs on the back of a motorcycle. And this is the and not on like not riding it and the seat is like really comfortable it's like has a really nice spot for my butt but god damn this is so weird god what the fuck is this even i'm scared to go fast on it oh god the brakes are kind of iffy too and i'm like on the mo i'm wearing a motocross helmet too that must look weird as hell the kickstand isn't where i'm used to being Is it gonna start not in clutch? Yeah, it started. All right, well, uh, she gave me directions of where she lives, so let's hope I can follow them and not forget them. This feels so fucking weird. It feels like I'm riding a Grom. Like, I've never ridden a Grom, but it, like, because my knees are, like, super bent and shit. It feels like I'm riding a fucking Grom. Except I don't think this thing will wheelie. Oh, shit. Dude, it might wheelie. I don't think she knows my channel, so she won't get mad if I fucking wheelie. Really. <laughs> they weren't! <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking. That's, that's, that's killer. This thing isn't gonna wheelie, really. it's not gonna happen. Oh god. <laughs> I feel so. I feel so foolish on this bike. I don't know what the fuck it is. Oh god, all these little bumps that I wouldn't really notice on my WR, like I noticed it. I fucking love this bike. She's looking to sell it, shit, I might pick this thing up. Or maybe I'm just in love with riding and any like thing that is kind of like that I, I dig. What I don't like is these turn signals. It's like you could either go left, middle, and right. With my, um, with my WR, it's like you go left and then you have to bring it to the center. And then in the center, push down to make it not activate. And then you have to push it just in the middle. And sometimes they over exaggerate. I should not like speed on this bike because I don't want to get pulled over. I don't know if there's registration or anything that goes with it. Or if it's even insured. And I don't have my permit on me. <laughs> Shit. Alright. <laughs> this bike is so <laughs> I don't even know, man. These fucking thing is killer. But this is like an antique too. It has the brakes of an antique. They see me rolling. They hate to <laughs> rev, bro. It's so funny. Oh shit. There it goes. How'd you do? It was pretty good. It was a fun, fun bike. It was weird. It's different, right? It was a lot different, yeah. Because normally I can like kind of touch the ground.